All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do a reading from the classic tarot. Because, you know, classic tarot is general, could be love, could be queer, could be whatever, you know. Um, see what the current energy is. There's no hashtags on this video. So, we're gonna see what the spirit guides have to tell you, what message they have. All right, spirit. Okay, I'm picking up right away. There's some depression here. I'm feeling like there's some intense, intense anxiety. Um, nightmares even. A lot of despair here. Someone is, someone is having a hard time. Okay, I'm picking up here that there is a true lack of communication in this dynamic. Um, but your intuition is telling you right now that things are going to turn around. Your intuition is telling you that there is going to be some sort of wealth, um, maybe a family inheritance. Like your intuition is telling you that this is ha this is coming, um, so this breakdown of communication and all, also your intuition is foreseeing this as well. Hmm. And this is making you extremely depressed. Hmm. Okay, so this is a, yeah, this depression is making you very, very, um, having a, like, a lack of focus, lack of ambition. Um, the courage that you have is, is, is starting to lack, and you're, res you're resisting, you're being resilient to faith, um, and, but you're very persistent nonetheless. You do have a very fiery passion, lust, lustful uh, desire to be impulsive and, and go um, to do the nasty with somebody with the Knight of Wands here. This, this person's very impulsive. Um, mm -hmm, they're bringing it in. <laughs> and this person is, like I said, action. Ooh, this person's ready to take action. They're very, they want to communicate some things to you. They, they want to tell you some things. They're going to, a, a message is coming in, okay? A message is coming in that this person's going to open up to you. All this, this, this whole thing has just released some pain, a lot of grief here. Um, and I feel like that the, it's the ending of the, the no communication cycle, honestly. And all this pain, this grief you're feeling from not hearing from this other person, not hearing from your person, not getting any communication, wondering what the fuck. Do they love me? Do they not love me? Do they want me? Do they not want me? They're coming forward. They're gonna, they're, you're going to know they sexually desire you, and they're going to tell you everything that you want to know. I'm just gonna get rid of all of that pain, that depression, and <laughs> all that bad luck as a result of it is gonna come to an end of the cycle. Yeah, all that bad karma. All the external forces that's been causing you shit, making you feel like you're in a self-imposed imprisonment. Um, this this new connection, this, this where you're headed, Okay, where you're headed, your desire, where you're headed is positive, it's warm, it's inviting, um, it's vital to your heart, this person. <laughs> Look, another message. See, there are three message cards in this reading so far. There's communication coming forward. You're going to have some kind of an offer. Um, mm. Oh, yeah. There's an offer. Offer coming in. And this person, this person is going to offer you so much abundance. <laughs> They're not going to hold back their feelings or how they, I mean, they're, mm, they're going to give you their time. I mean, this is, 
this has been a, a conflict with, with you and this person. This is, there has been like conflict, tension, like miscommunications with other people involved. Like other people has caused this disconnect. Miscommunications, um, other people giving the wrong impression or whatever. Now, um, the King of Pentacles is, is in this dynamic here, and he is the one that's going to fill your cup, okay? This is, this, uh, 100%. This King of Pentacles is bringing you some, some sort of a message moving forward towards you, okay? With sexual lust, some, some truth, and some offer, some kind of offer. Filling your Ace of Cups, another beginning card, like love, compassion, and the King of Pentacles is a Leo Virgo energy. So, yeah, fire and earth. Mm. Wow. Mm. Okay, next. <laughs> what else we got? Oh, yes, you have been so patient. <laughs> um, you, you're at a rebirth, like an inner calling. You're, this is an absolution. <laughs> this, this King of Pentacles has been patient and, and just ready for, it, ready for a new, ready for a rebirth, an absolution. It's time. We're going to end this cycle. It's time. Take accountability for shit. You know, it's time. It's time for a rebirth. Oh yeah, this 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 person. You've been on their mind. You've been on their mind. Oh yeah. <laughs> it, they're on your mind so much. It makes you hard. It makes hard for you to like concentrate on your on your you know your work and your family and all those things. It's it's been rough on you okay um and you haven't been able to move on from this connection even though it it, it was like stagnant you're like i can't i can't i can't I would, no matter how hard you fucking try um and no matter what everybody's telling you um you're going to challenge the status pro quo you're going to challenge the righteous path okay um, and I think, I feel like you have challenged the righteous path in the, in the past because the lovers is right behind it. So, and I feel like you've done some soul searching here in this situation. <laughs> Woo! And you've been pouring yourself into work through all of this. And somebody has backstabbed you. So yeah, that's, like I said, the outside forces have been really fucking with this with this connection, for sure. Uh-huh. That's, there's a reason for all this disconnect, 100%. But I do see the two of you working together and communicating and... Hmm. One more card. One more card. Oh, <laughs> the Queen of Wands. Ooh, she is something else, too. This is not a force to be reckoned with, this Queen of Wands. She is, she's very determined. She's warm. She's vibrant, okay? She's going, you see the sunflower? You know, she's like, that's where the warmth comes in. You know, she's very sweet. She's caring. She's loving. She's nurturing. She's also very determined. She's very tenacious. And right now, with this Queen of Wands, there's a tower moment. A tower moment is a complete change in your physical realm, okay? And if it's a reverse tower, that means it's a, a change in your inner self. But this is actually a physical realm change involving this Queen of Wands here. So, uh, take that how it resonates, but oh, wow. Okay, and <laughs> manifestation card. What, Lionsgate? <laughs> You have been manifesting this person that's coming into your life that you're going after for a very, very long time. 100%. I love you. Have a great night. <laughs>